When I'm on NAD, like what I feel is different is number one, I do get more quality sleep. You know, as we know, like sleep is such an essential part of yeah. us feeling better. I mean, solid four to five hours, right, of quality sleep. You know, I mean, that that actually it has a tremendous kind of like uh, effect. What is NAD? They think they're getting like a, a supplement that isn't produced in the body. Yeah, like a foreign substance, yeah. right? But it's actually a uh, natural indigenous protein. I mean, <laughs> through a, um, a GI tract, you know, the NAD absorption is uh, extremely low. And that's why it has to go through a direct route, which means either an IM injection, intra intramuscular injection, or IV injection. Okay. Do we offer pill if, if that's what, something they wanted? Pill form that really doesn't work. I mean, if they are really afraid or they, you know, they don't want to do any type of injection, uh, then NMN is probably the absorption rate is a little bit better. Um, but uh, with NAD uh, administration, we really think it's more of a direct route that you should go with. Because through a GI tract, the absorption rate is so low that it probably won't be effective. All right. So back with another podcast of Weight Plastic Surgery. I'm Romeo. I'm one of the nurses here. And we're here with none other than Dr. Peter Lee. Dr. Peter Lee. Welcome, Romeo. Hey, thanks for taking time for us today. Oh, my pleasure, of course. <laughs> so today we're here to talk about NAD+. Plus. How does it work? Who can benefit from it? Um, any potential side effect? When to use it? When not to use it? Yeah, I mean, we hear a lot of buzz about NAD+, plus these days, right? Um, and, and just the, the kind of the trend now is just wellness, right? I mean, people, they're living a more productive life as we get older. Uh, we notice that there is a change, uh, but we are li living a much more productive and active life, right? And, you know, initially we we're thinking always about like supplements, you know, that assist our quality of life uh, as being like vitamins, right? But now what we know is, is that, uh, you know, there are a lot of other crucial um, elements uh, in our body that actually kind of decreases with time. And uh, one of them really is a building block for a lot of the activities in our cells. Uh, and that is the NAD. Okay? NAD stands for nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. And um, we know that rapidly uh, after the age of 25 or, or above, that there is a sudden drop off in the levels of the NAD okay. you know, in our body. And you know, it is one of those uh, elements that we think are crucial in the entire sort of wellness anti-aging program. So just to be clear, NAD, it's produced in our body, right? Yeah, it's, it's a native protein within our body, yes. Um, helps with energy, right? Right. And it, it really works in the intracellular level. Um, and it, it truly is the, the, the energy drive of our metabolism you know, in our cells, for our cells to work properly. Um, and so NAD replacement, um, overall, we think, uh, counters a lot of the aging effect that we get. And what are they? I mean, things like just cognitive decline, um, sleep, quality of sleep, uh, overall energy. Uh, I mean, these are the kind of things that we really want to target. One of the things that we know that happens as we get older is inflammation, right? Yeah. Um, and things that actually uh, will calm down the inflammatory uh, activity that happens as we get older. And so this is actually a very strong um, anti-inflammatory uh, building blocks you know, in our body. So you say as we get older, um, it decreases. Um, so from what I understand, uh, it's produced in the mitochondria. So the mitochondria is essentially our energy booster. So by increasing NAD, the mitochondria will potentially give us more energy. Is that what we're saying? Yeah, I mean, you know, like uh, that's where transcription happens, right? From an RNA into a, into a protein translation. And at the end, I mean, that is what drives our cells, right? I mean, it's, it's the energy production, energy storage of our cells, the mitochondria. And a lot of the activities uh, happens in that region. And NAD just happens to be one of the essential proteins 
along with some of the others and, and you know like the, some of the other kind of uh, uh, products that we sometimes talk about are things like NNM and um, and and those are those are important but NAD is more of a direct effect okay because I, I think a lot of a uh, misconception that a lot of the patients that we have um, when they come here they always ask what is NAD they think they're getting like a, a supplement that isn't produced in the body so I think it's good to clear that up uh, yeah, like a foreign substance, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, but it's actually... Uh, they always ask, yeah. well, what am I putting <laughs> into my body? So it's good to know. So it's a natural indigenous protein. Yeah, so yeah. just kind of helping that pathway get there. Yeah, I mean, you know, as we get older, I mean, there's a noticeable difference in our chemistry. Yeah. yeah, And um, there really isn't any, like, true side effect uh, with uh, any of the replacement. Um, and everybody initially sort of... Um, uh, feels it a little bit different, but overwhelmingly everything is positive, right? I mean, some people notice certain traits in, that improves more than others, um, but on a consistent basis, I mean, our patient satisfaction is like 100%. When I'm on NAD, like what I feel is different is number one, I do get more quality sleep. You know, as we know, like sleep is such an essential part of us feeling better. Okay, I do notice that you do have a lot more energy on surgery days now. So that's what you're that's what you're supplementing, huh? But like, yeah, I mean, I mean, solid four to five hours, right, of quality sleep. You know, I mean, that that actually has a tremendous kind of like uh, effect. Pretty sure there's a pretty good demographic out there of people that are pregnant. Is it safe for people that are going through pregnancy, or should they stay off of it? Yeah, I mean, we're not sure if there is a true sort of a maternal uh, to to placental diffusion um, for for pregnant. People, mm -hmm. we really sort of um, tell those patients not to do anything uh, out of the ordinary, and that does include obviously like NAD, uh, you know, injections. I mean, because it, it because it's a it's it's an indigenous protein, right? I mean, there really is no long term side effects with these. Um, the only thing is, is is that you know you have to constantly replace these, so it's not like surgery where you just give them a replacement one time and then last several years, it doesn't. And so on a consistent basis, I mean, you do have to um, do the NAD injections, whether it's uh, once a week, some people twice a week. We do recommend um, probably about twice a week uh, when you initially start the NAD and then kind of like um, uh, kind of wean that off so that it, like maybe once a week, once every two weeks, um, but we think that that's probably the best protocol. So is there anyone that should stay away from NAD? Well, I mean, I think like uh, if, uh, if, if their NAD level is high to begin with, right? I mean, I'm not sure if, if it's going to be any beneficial. But as we know, uh, on a consistent basis, anybody over the age of 25, I mean, their NAD levels do drop. And it's uh, congruent with how old you are, right? So older you are the more NAD you actually do need. Okay. Um, we, the, the method in which we actually replace the NAD, however, is a little bit different. Okay. Yeah. You don't want to be giving a mega dose of NAD. Okay. Uh, you want to sort of slowly build up that NAD uh, level uh, in patients because some patients, like if you give them too much at one time, um, they feel, um, some people like do sort of talk about uh, their heart rate goes up. Mm -hmm. um, they feel a little bit of heaviness in their chest. Uh, but this is just because there is more production of, uh, of energy uh, that you, you kind of feel that way. And so what we do now is it can be given uh, either by an IM route where we inject it into the muscle or through an IV. Yeah. And the usual doses are 100 milligrams to 200 milligrams at a time. And IV versus IM, um, any differences? Well, I mean, they get the a, same a, benefits. Yeah, I mean, at the end, yes, but uh, obviously through an IV, it's a more direct route, okay, okay? Um, and you'll f feel the difference more quicker than through an IM. So, who do you think can benefit most from NAD? What demographic, or is there a demographic? Or any demographic. Well, I think uh, anybody really over the age of 25 that kind of notices a drop off, right, um, in the way that they feel, right? And as I was saying before, like people who kind of like lose energy, 
right? Uh, whose um, sleeping quality doesn't seem to be like how it used to be when they were, you know, younger, yeah. right? Uh, memory, okay? Um, even when they work out and building, you know, muscles, okay? Right? Um, I mean, it, as we get older, e even if we exercise the same amount as we did when we were younger, you know, we don't really see that effect. And so we so think... Tell like, me about it. <laughs> well, you actually work out? Here and there. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's very subtle. <laughs> <laughs> now I try to, um, but I, I, as you do get older, you do notice sometimes you get up in the morning and you're just wanting that extra bit of energy. Um, so I do believe in it. I haven't tried it myself, but um, maybe in the future I'll try it. Because I've heard a lot of people, you know, they have way more energy when they wake up um, to get to the gym. And that's essentially what we're all after, right? It's just a better overall wellness. And also helps with cellular repair yeah I, I mean a lot of the things that that occurs you know as we get older right i mean delayed healing right um delayed repair of, of, of things and so yeah i mean i mean this is actually we think is one of the crucial uh component that we really should kind of boost up to our younger days so since it does help with repair inflammation um all those things that you listed could it benefit our surgery patients? Of course, yeah. I mean, we have some patients that does NAD uh, uh, postoperatively, especially like if it's more involved surgeries, like a facelift, right, or like uh, a tummy tuck, right? Um, I mean, those patients, uh, we do think that it will help with the healing process, kind of, kind of like um, speed up the pace in terms of overall settling of the swelling because it does reduce inflammation. Uh, as well as, um, you know, even uh, wound healing, right? Because one of the things that NAD does as well is it does improve your skin. And a lot of people actually say, say that, that they feel like their skin is a little bit more smoother, more glowing. Um, I think for surgical patients, I think it's more like wound healing, uh, that it has more effect. Luckily, we've been getting them on this treatment for the past couple of years after postoperatively. Um, any, so as far as NAD, is there anything else that can help boost when you take it? Should you take anything else with any other like vitamins or do we include those vitamins? Yeah, so that's a good question. We do think that it acts synergistic uh, with um, vitamin B complex uh, injection as well. Uh, in the past, I mean, that's what we used to do only, right, it was to uh, supplement uh, vitamin, vit specifically vitamin complex, right, through an IV. Um, but now uh, we do do both, NAD replacement along with uh, vitamin through an IV route. All right, so in recent years, I've noticed NAD becoming a lot more popular, not just here, but like even in the fitness industry. Um, what's the difference between them getting it here versus everywhere else? Because it's offered everywhere now. Um, what do we offer versus? Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's like um, anything else, right? I mean, the source that you get certain medication from, I, think, I do think it's important, especially things like NAD, um, because um, there is no brand name or brand product for NAD. It's all generic, and it is through a compound pharmacy. But... You know, like, not all compound pharmacy is the same, okay? Um, I mean, and that's why we go through a lot of, um, we go through a lot of research, and we really filter through uh, where we get certain products from, and that includes the NAD. You know, we get all of our NAD uh, through a 503B uh, compound pharmacy, um, and it's really essential to make sure, number one, that it's a, it's a pure, purified um, NAD. And how you actually prepare and how you store them is also essential. It's really important to, uh, the NAD in the liquid form sometimes is not as stable as in a powder form. And so uh, what we usually do is, is, is that we get the NAD products in a powder form that prior to usage, we mix it so that it's a fresh, highly more concentrated uh, NAD product. So that when we say NAD is 100 milligrams or 200 milligram, it truly translates to the most potent form and potent dosage 
uh, of that of what we're actually you know talking about. Okay. Yeah. So versus that or a pill form would it be way more potent? Yeah, I mean <laughs> through a um, a GI tract, you know the NAD absorption is uh, extremely low, and that's why it has to go through a direct route, which means either an IM injection. Intramuscular injection or IV injection. Okay. Do we offer pill if if that's what something they wanted? Pill form that really doesn't work. I mean, if they are really afraid or they you know they don't want to do any type of injection, uh, then NMN is probably the absorption rate is a little bit better. Um, but uh, with NAD uh, administration, we really think it's more of a direct route that you should go with because. Through a GI tract, the absorption rate is so low that it probably won't be effective. Okay. Probably lose a lot during yeah. digestion. Yeah. All right. And that pretty much concludes our podcast today about NND with Dr. Peter Lee. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. We'll try to answer them as soon as we can. Um, on that, you have anything else to say? No. No. It was a pleasure talking to you about NAD. Um, and, uh, I mean, wellness is, is the thing these days. Um, and... Uh, you don't have to be sick to actually be on medications. Health is wealth. Health is wealth. Prophylaxis is better than treatment. <laughs>